My Dallas was 41 of the football manager career road. Last time out, big Ronaldo signed, but he also got injured, and that kind of just deflated that straight away. But we went seven undefeated. First off here, we've got Ajax, uh, three days away at Ibrox. We kick off the Champions League group stages, and what a game that was yesterday against Royal Antwerp. Celtic defeat St. Johnson, so they move back above us due to our extra draw there against Aberdeen. But we're seven this game against Ajax. Uh, hopefully... We can pick up the three points. But you know what, Ajax, a decent team. Well, I was not expecting that. Alfredo Morelos with five goals in the 18th, 39, 45th plus two, 81 and 83. And Ryan Kent got the other goal. I mean, five in one game. I mean, surely that must be close to a Champions League record. I mean, well, I can't. I mean, people do get four. I'm sure someone else has got five, but I, I doubt anyone's got actually six in a game. That's just my opinion. Um, well, see, that, that, that record's talking about there is just the one for us, which Ryan Kent got four in the one game. Um, so that's not particularly uh, for that. And now we play Motherwell at Ibrox, second against ninth. Ryan Kent gets both the goals. Um, and Motherwell get hee-haw, Stuart Finlay gets booked and that moves us back to the top of the Scottish Premiership but as you know Celtic play now against Kelly, they win 3-0, Aberdeen beat Hearts, St Johnson taking on, I mean look at that, how are Hamilton, how are Hamilton third in the league? That is what fucking nightmares are made of guys but next up we have got Olympic Marseille, the weakest team in the group but we are away to them so It'll be a tough game in itself. There is the team. Obviously, they've got like the likes of Tovan, um, <laughs> Newcastle reject, but it looks like he's turned his career relatively around at um, Marseille. They've got Steve Mandanda as well, Amave and Saveri, and Stephen Ruffier. Is that all the guy that used to play for uh, St. Erian? I don't know if he still plays for them. He used to have like an 85 rated card. What the hell happened to him, guys? But we move in to this game, and now it's Marseille. It's Toko and Kambi. He plays it right over to Jean Philip Mateta. And that is absolutely awful. I mean, 24 goal this season. I mean, how many games are these ins played? It's now Tovan in the 40th minute. Oh man, McCory manages to save it. Now we're going to need to make some substitutions. Bring Shankland on. But as we were doing that, we've actually scored. And it is Gabriel Martinelli. There's made a goal there for Martinelli and it equals the score here in the 68th minute and that's moved us back up to second place. So United on six points, they must be currently beating Ajax. Yeah, yeah, Toure though, found Barisic, he found Martinelli and that was a very well worked goal. But that is the way the game finished. Nay three points in France, just one, but you know what, I think we'll take that. I mean, if you look at the stats, it looks like Marseille. Absolutely dominated us. So, yep, United on six, we're on four, Marseille on one, and then we've got Ajax on approximately hee haw. But we beat Ross County 3 1 there in the Betfred Cup. Yanis Haji with a hat trick, uh, Harry Patton with the goal for them. But into the next one, the big one Rangers versus Manchester United. It's been a wee while since this game happened. Fuck it, well, this is what, this is 2022 free season, so about 20 years based off this season, no real life, but even then, real life, it was about 19 years, or whatever that was. Um, and now, we move on, Ryan Kent finds Tavernier, Tavernier, Haji, and that is the opening goal, Haji gets his sixth of the season. And you cannot complain. Hat trick in his last game, and then he goes and fucking bangs another one in here. But it's Martial slips through Rashford, but Ross McCrory manages to tip it. Or Robbie McCrory, <laughs> Ross McCrory's hot, his job dude. He went to Aberdeen, but Martinelli finds Morelos hits it first time. It flies, in and that's another thing about Ronaldo. He could have been facing his former club here, guys, but yeah, he's been shafted. Got an ambulance there at ringside. Ringside. We're playing Dota V here, man. We're fucking playing football manager. <laughs> um, and that looks like it's going to be taking us in the half time here. 2 0 up against Manchester United, who, I mean, let's be real, in terms of transfer fees and, I mean, value, I mean, they're absolutely smoking us. Barisic, I mean, that is a penalty. You compare it to the Aberdeen thing, 
it happened a few um, episodes ago. It was the last episode where it wasn't. We won the ball. The ref goes over and checks the VAR. He's given it. There is no two ways about it. He's given this. What is the point of apparently review? Why couldn't they just home wherever shithole they do this? Stockley Park or wherever. That. That, um. I'm going to look at this. This whole run over, mate. Usually they've already decided by this point. Why has he got to run over to the, ex the exact spot that apparently happened? And now Penandez. Penandez steps up. Can he make it 2 1? Get United back in it? Yes, he can. You could, I mean, he always gets a penalty. And he, well, United always get a penalty and he always scores it. But it's played over to Joe Rebo through to Martinelli. Or it's Morelos. I just seen M and thought it was Martinelli. But yes, 3 1 with 29 minutes to go, 28 minutes to go. Surely now we can uh, hang on here for the three points. Now into the last two minutes though here at Ibrox and it's full time we've beat Manchester United and that is a great scalp. You cannot argue with that. Rashford even picked up an injury even better for the second leg well, the, well, the, the next game if he's still out. Um, Hearts beat Dundee United. We still were trailing Celtic by five points but you know, it's obviously got that game in hand. And um, we received 2.46 million for that win. Southgate spotted at Ibrox. I mean, what, is Kent going to get a call up? Because the stats are unbelievable. You know? If, if, if some of our jobbers like Harvey Barnes can get a call up, why can't Ryan Kent? You know? And that's more than this, obviously. I know Harvey Barnes actually did no bad in real life this season, but you get my point. We beat St. Mirren 3 1 there, guys. Um, and now, we've got some international roundup, but we've got Celtic against Aberdeen, and Aberdeen beat them 2 1. Which means the gap is closed to two, but if we win, obviously we just won there, we will move back on top with 23 points. And now we are playing Hearts at Tyne Castle. It's a 4 1 win. Joe Aribo, Morelos Brace, Connor Golds, and Jordan Jones, the former Rangers man, got a goal, got injured. And um, yeah, but we move back to where we belong and hopefully we can get title 57 this season, guys. But anyway, I'll tell you for, for episode 41. 10 games unbeaten in the league. Um, and yeah, we move on to the next one. So until next time, peace. And there's some other results that nobody cares about. <laughs>